Hi guys, I'm now in Jiading, Shanghai, and I'm, I'm waiting for a Baidu robot taxi. Baidu began taxiing its robot taxi first in Changsha in April, and the taxiing points are now expanded into five cities, including Shanghai. To call an Apollo robot taxi, we need to download an app from Baidu called Robokuaipao, meaning "wrong robots," and then I selected. And went to the nearest pickup locations, waiting for my call to be answered. At this stage, all the robot taxi are free of charge, so many people would like to give a try. It's actually very hard to get a car here since there's only around ten cars in the whole Jiading area. Just when I was totally desperate and was about to go back to the city, my order was picked up. Great timing, huh? Here we go. It's coming. It's my car. For the sake of safety and emergency, Hello. there is a security guy in every autonomous car. After getting on the car, I was first asked to do the temperature check. Autonomous car usually wears a hat; it's a signal receiver, and that's how they differentiate from other cars. On the back of the front seat, there is a monitor so passengers can see the time, destination, and road conditions very clearly. The highest speed for a robot taxi is 60 kilometers per hour, allowing system for an accurate judgment for turning around and other actions. On my car, the security guy just put his hands on the steering wheel with very few movements, and the steering wheel is running itself. The time when I did the test ride was the traffic peak period, but the system knows where to start and stop during stop and go. The whole testing experience is very safe and stable. The car of Baidu Apollo Go is Hongqi EV, and Hongqi is one of the top luxury state-owned car brand in China. Apollo Go is also ambitiously looking to expand into 100 cities by 2030. In a short time, these taxis will start to collect fees. The core of Apollo project is AI-enabled cloud technology. Baidu plans to build a new ecosystem, including internet software as well as auto-drive hardware. It is actively opening up new internet market space, which the policymakers are promoting. If you want to know more about China, please subscribe ChinaLastNight.com. I will see you next time.